Hello, this is Jen from Internet Lessons. If you've seen any of my other tutorials, you'll realise that um, I like using Serif Web Plus and WordPress together when I build my websites. So I'm always looking for ways to make my blog part look as similar as I can to the Serif part of my website. And on my WordPress site, I used to use Shareaholic because I wanted some basically social media integration buttons so that people could click on them and share um, the posts I put on my website, that sort of thing. But I didn't have anything that would work on the serif part. So I did a bit of searching around and I came across a lovely floating bar like the one you can see on the left hand side here. So what happens is as I scroll up and down the page, it doesn't move, it actually stays in one place and I thought wouldn't that be great if I could get that onto my serif site as well and it works so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you how to do it so the first thing that I had to do because on the serif sorry on the WordPress site I can install this as a plugin so if you if you're not quite sure um, how to do that I'm going to quickly show you how to install it as a plugin and then I will show you how to install it using a little tiny bit of code on the serif site and it's not really difficult at all if I can do it, anybody can do it, it's no problem at all. So what you have to do first is log in to your WordPress site. I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to go into my dashboard. And then I'm going to go to plugins and add new. Now you can upload the plugin separately or you can search for it. And searching for it is a much easier way of doing it. The reason I uploaded it was because I wasn't exactly sure which one matched the website. So, but I've found out now, so I'm going to show you. So in the search bar for the plugins, you just need to type in share this and then search plugins. Oh, let's wait a second. And here we go. And it's the second one down here. Share this share buttons and sharing analytics is the plugin that you want. Now I've already installed it as you can see here. So um, obviously I can't reinstall it again but if I wanted to install it I would just click on the where it where it says install there it would say install now a bit like the one above it there and then that will install it onto your site once you have installed the plugin you need to activate it so if you come to installed plugins it will give you a list of all the plugins you have installed scroll down until you find share this and if it hasn't been activated already, which this one has, it will say activate underneath the name. So you just click on that to activate it. Then if you want to um, customize this plugin, what you need to do is you need to go to the settings menu and then find where it says share this and then click on it. And then it will bring you up the options to choose from. So you can choose, you can see here, large icons, horizontal, ones with counts on them, anything you want really, anything that's there. You can also choose, let me go back one second, you can also choose to add a Facebook like, a Google Plus one or Pinterest to it. And there's quite a lot of other options you've got here, look. You scroll down and have a look at them. So, and if you want it to hover on the left, you have to click the enable hovering bar there and it will put it on the left hand side. So once you've picked all the styles and things you want you just click update share this option and your your plugin will be live. Okay so we've got that sorted so now what we need to do is we need to go and put the same thing onto our serif site. So what you need to do now is go to the sharethis.com website and scroll down and you should be able to find oh they've changed it since I did it earlier so what you can do is you can basically pick one of the popular button styles whichever one you want so I'm going to go for that one and more options here you can now decide the platform that you're using to put this bar or these buttons onto so if I wanted to upload the plugin rather than install it through my dashboard, I would go to the WordPress option here. But because I've done that automatically through my dashboard, I want to go to the website option, which is what we're going to use for Serif or anything that you've built using um, your own web design software. 
or coding, whichever you prefer. You then go to step two, style. And then you have here a choice of but different types of buttons um, and bars. Now, this is the style, this top one. This, um, yeah, if it's, <laughs> it's annoying every time I try and hold my mouse to point it to you, it goes black. But anyway, this is the one, the bars, this one that's got the green circle around it, the rectangle around it. So this is the one I want, and then I'm going to click on step three, customization. And now you can choose where you want it to be located, whether you want to be on the left of the screen or the right of the screen, just by changing these options here. There we go, see, pops over to the right. You can then choose what you, which buttons or um, icons you want to appear in your bar. So for example, if you want Google+, Plus, you take Google+, Plus, you drag it over and drop it into the bar. Say, for example, you don't want LinkedIn, you just grab hold of LinkedIn and you take it back out. You can also change the order. Perhaps you want Google+, Plus to be above Twitter. There we go. So once you're happy with the way it looks, you need to come down and click get the code. So now what we need to do is we need to take these bits of script and we need to put them into our serif site. So what I've done is I've opened up a serif template. So I'm going to show you what to do with this code. So first of all, these scripts have got to be in the head section of your HTML. So I'll highlight the script, look for control C on my keyboard to copy it. I'm going to open up the template. Now you need to make sure that you paste this code onto the master page, not onto the page itself. Because I was testing it earlier, and if you put it onto the page, it will only show up on the page you're looking at at the time. If you want it to show only on a page, that's fine. But if you want it to appear all the time throughout your site, you need to put it on the master or master's page. It's very important you do that. So I'm going to go to master A, and then I'm going to go to insert, HTML fragment and I'm going to draw the fragment it doesn't matter where you put it really and then I'm going to paste to head so the first bit of code I've pasted to the head then click OK now it doesn't matter where you put it you can tuck it up in the corner up here if you want to it really doesn't matter because it won't show up when you publish your page anyway the next thing you need to do is go back and highlight the second piece of code like that. Control C. Go back to your serif site. Draw another piece of code of um, HTML fragment, like so. And this time, I'm going to paste it to the body. And click OK. And now, if I publish, so I've got a bit left over from before. Take that off. Um, now, all I need to do is to preview the site in Google Chrome. I'm going to preview the site and then you can see what I mean, but if I change pages, it should stay on um, visible even as I navigate through the website. So here I am with the bar showing on the home page. If I click on about us, it just takes a minute to load. There we go. It will show on each page of the Serif website. Well, this is Jen from Internet Lessons. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like the video, please give us a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below the video. I will always do my best to reply to them. Thank you ever so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.